this spark may burn your pocket. The speed with which the electric vehicle revolution started in India, now all of a sudden the whole story seems to be slowing at the same speed. The flames arising from electric scooters may have put brakes on the EV revolution. People are in fear while the government has sweat on its forehead. EV companies are clueless. As for the safety of electric vehicles, just like a power cut, it has lost its safety factor among people. The government is now in a strict mode and is assuring people that the EV is safe. On April 21, Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari gave a stern warning to EV companies. He said that the government has formed an expert committee. After its report, detailed guidelines will be rolled out for EV batteries and other safety measures. Gadkari also said that if any company violates the rules, then heavy fines and other actions will be taken on it. Companies will also be asked to recall their defective vehicles. In the last two weeks, there have been incidents of fire in more than a dozen electric scooters, in which both life and property have been damaged. Scooters of companies like Ola, Pure EV, Okinawa and Jitendra EV have caught fire. Okinawa has recalled over 3,000 scooters. Pure EV India has also recalled 2,000 electric scooters and Ola, the latest, will recall 1,441 scooters. The government fears that these incidents may sabotage the entire green energy revolution in the country. Talking about the sale of two-wheelers, a total of 15.12 million two-wheelers were sold in the country in 2020-21. In 2019, this figure was 21 million units. While the sales of a common two-wheeler are declining, electric vehicles are booming. According to CM data, sales of electric two-wheelers have increased by 132% in 2021. A total of 2,33,971 electric two-wheelers have been sold in 2021. In 2020, this figure was 1,736 units. The government is also excited by the sales figures and it does not want to see the pace of EV in the country burning down. This is the reason why the government's most important think tank, Niti Aayog, has also issued a draft policy regarding battery swapping. In this draft, detailed information has been given about the complete ecosystem of EV, battery charging infrastructure and the battery swap modalities, technical and operational standards, subsidy and safety. On the basis of this draft, the government will bring in a battery swapping policy. There is also another reason for the government to become nervous which is due to the fire in electric scooters. The issue is net zero. Net zero means zero carbon emission target. India had promised to achieve net zero by 2070 at the Glasgow summit last year. Earlier in 2015 in the Paris Agreement, India had agreed to reduce the emission intensity of GDP by 33 to 35 percent by 2030. India reduced it to 45% in COP26. India has promised to cut emissions by 1 billion tons by 2030. It is also important to know that India is the fourth largest producer of carbon dioxide in the world. China, US and EU come at the top of this list. But if you look at the per capita emissions figures, then India seems to be far behind compared to the big economies. In 2019, per capita carbon dioxide emissions in India were 1.9 tons. In comparison, it was 15.5 tons in America and 12.5 tons in Russia. However, the reason for the capita low emission is the large population of India. So this is not something to be happy about. Well, back to the story of EV. About the big targets the government has set to reduce emissions, the way to meet these targets goes through EV. That's why the government is in no mood to tolerate the mistakes by EV companies. As once fear inculcates among the people, then all the targets of the government will be defeated. Well, it is necessary for the revolution of EV and green energy to sustain in the country. But it is equally important that this revolution should not be at the cost of human lives. Because the question is about people's lives here. And the responsibility of this lies with the government as well as the EV companies that are riding the horse of revolution.